Well, then it's gonna get on here, but I'm going live because I'm doing some artsy crafty stuff. So I want to just be on here just to show what I'm doing today. Show my work, show my work Wednesday. <laughs> so I'm just on here just to be on here. <laughs> I'm just on here because I'm doing some work, so I decided to show some of my uh, what I'm doing. So I got this um, company with um, it's a travel company. So I'm doing their their keychains for their business. So I did their keychains. So these are all done, and now I'm doing their luggage tag. So the other side, I got a sublimate on still. So I, I prepped everything, got everything on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press them when my heat press is up. When it's finished heating up, they are cute. The little design is super cute. And it's like vacation. What is it like travel bay experience? That's so cute. And then the other side is travel, travel bay experience too. But it's the grown and sexy travel club. They grown and sexy. <laughs> so that's their keychains. So we're doing I'm doing keychains, a luggage tag, and I'm doing some like rally towels. But we're doing the weave towels instead of the um regular rally towels. I'm sorry if I got a lot of fans going, but I'm in my garage, it's hot, so I gotta have my fans, my AC, everything gotta be blowing on me out here. <laughs> Cause this is summertime in Florida and it gets super hot. So I'ma do um I'm gonna finish doing these today with y'all on live. Uh, just to show y'all what the luggage tags look like. Hey Tanya, and so I'm a the luggage tag. I decided to do it where when they flip it, the other side is is the upside, you know? Because I felt like if you have to do like that, eh, a lot of work. <laughs> so you rather flip it and it'd be upside down. That's something that I said is key to making this tag the way that you want to have it on your luggage. Flip around, so I guess it don't really matter. But me, I'm a little OCD like that. And then I have three cups that I have to epoxy, so I am going to be epoxying those cups um, on the live too. And I just got some new stuff in, so I wanted to try to do something on one of, like a little couple of little things, test them out with y'all, because if I mess up with y'all, I don't care. <laughs> because it's y'all and y'all family, and that's what we do, we mess up, we not perfect. Well, ain't none of us perfect, but um, I wanna, uh, I want to try out some stuff. So I got some little gift bags that are supposed to be sublimation, able to do sublimation on it. So I am going to, I'm going to do it one of the small ones. So I don't feel like I lost a lot of stuff. And I have, um, I have extras of their stuff printed. So I'm going to just do one for them. So it's going to be super cute. So now I'm just waiting for the heat press to finish. And then I'm going to do that. Do the well. I guess I could epoxy the cups right now, so I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and make the epoxy and get it ready for the cups, so I can do that first and have that spinning and going. And then by the time I'm done with that, my heat press be done. Bow. We go over to the uh, heat press and get it, get the uh, stuff done. But let me go and take y'all over there to my other area, my other work area with my big old light. I did just finish a YouTube video with um, with unboxing this stuff, so I'm trying to do YouTube, the YouTube thing. I'm trying to do the YouTube thing and get my uh, videos uploaded on there, then I'll upload them into our um, page as well after. So, to do this epoxy, I know I've done it before on live, but um, here I'll let y'all look at my cups. So this one is blue and white ombre. This one is all the red. And in this one, somebody asked for black glitter. I have never, you know, did black glitter, but this cup is so cute. I haven't did something where it was all black glitter, but I do love it. So it does look good. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix my epoxy now. I did, I did use quick coat for these coats on top of these right now. Um, I did it like probably three days ago now. 
but I wanted it to hurry up and dry so I can go to the next one. But you hear that? That's how you know your epoxy is done. If you guys, anyone ever decide to start doing um, cups or anything like that. So as long as you hear that glass, for me, that's done. Okay? Um, yeah, and if my nails ain't sticking, ain't nothing sticking to it or whatever. But I want to go ahead and see this cup. I don't know if y'all can even see that. It's so much more blue in here. And then I got it dropping in. I don't need to see that like that. You see the blue dropping? It's so pretty though. God, I can't get, I wish I could get a good angle. Let's see if this is a good angle. It looked messy until I. <laughs> I'm gonna get this one. It's a black one. This black, you know what? I have did a black one. I did a black and gold one. It was black and gold. It wasn't all black. So this one is all black. And it's got the chunkies of black in there too. Which you can't even really see it because it's black. It's a, a chunky black one. So I'm going to get ready to get these done. Let me go ahead and put my epoxy in my stuff. So with your epoxy, it's two. It's even, equal parts. Unless you use the Little Lee and Rose epoxy, theirs is by weight which takes a scale, which I bought their scale. So I'll um, know. Ooh, I got some messy drawers in here. So I'll know how to weigh it, but I have not used their epoxy yet. It is supposed to be great, but I have not used it myself. So I'm going to do, probably since I got these three cups, I'm gonna probably do 100 mLs of epoxy. Let me see which one that one. I don't want the quick coat. I'm gonna do the glass coat um, from Nola's Glitter, Mr. Nola's Glitter Company. I'll go ahead and do the glass coat because I've used that one time and it was like it was so nice it was beautiful so I decided let me go ahead and um use that again because I have a lot of this and I don't want to waste it so let me get my glove ready so like I said I'm gonna do 100 150 mls of each one so and then this cup like I, I've showed you guys before this cup has my little measuring lines on it already for me so I don't mess it up myself and this these squeeze bottles I'm gonna let y'all see this hold on let me go this way let me see if I can we'll go this way these squeeze bottles are the truth so oh yeah you can't see better like this um these squeeze bottles of course I put the A on upside down because I was putting it the other way but these squeeze bottles work so good they squeeze and they stop when they when you need them to stop so let me show you here in my cup I stop squeezing and it stops itself so it works really well so I'm gonna go ahead and do 50 mLs that one i gotta make sure that i got all my stuff uh marked so this is nola i know these are nola a and b i'm gonna go ahead and do 50 more to the 100 line and i'm gonna stop and try to get it as equal as you can in there you don't want it to uh you don't want it to not um correctly if you don't get it the right way the first time. My stirring stick. Oh, look at that. My stirring stick's got all the coffee stuff to them. I'm going to have to use my baby one. Stirring stick. Drop it in. So, I'm going to put two of them in here so we stir it up good. Put it in my little mixer. Up here, bam. I think somebody asked me for that, um, the mixer before. I got it from Little Lee and Rose. My, look, my hair looks crazy. <laughs> I got it from Little Lee and Rose, so um, that's where you go. LittleLeeandRose.com and you can buy their mixer. It's really good. It's good on the hands, so you don't have to, um, use your, use your hand to do it, you know, especially when you got carpal tunnel or something bad like that around. You don't want to have to be stirring that stuff like that. I'm 
Okay, so when I get my epoxy stuck <laughs> stuck to the things like this, because I took it off and it sticks. Hey, mom. <laughs> But I took the epoxy, it got stuck. So it's stuck on both of them. So all I do, I have this little mason jar that's old. See, I got old epoxy still stuck in it. Throw that in the trash. Throw that out. You're gonna stick them in a, in a little um, jar. And you're gonna put some acetone in the jar. So I got this big old thing from um, Lowe's. Pour it in the jar. And I let them sit. I let them sit. And they'll, um, the, the, the coffee will come off of there. Like, just like that. It might take an hour. I don't know. I never pay attention. I just leave them in there. You can see I had all that goop still on there. So, let me get these ready to start spinning. I got three cups to do. And I like my cups to go a certain direction. So, if they're all going this way, since, I'm, since I am so right-handed, I, I go like this on my cups when I do my... Um, my epoxy so I like to slide in I like the cup to be going the opposite way in my hand okay so one two three this one is going to be um, like a family cup this one is another mini cup but it's bigger than the last one I did and then this one is going to be like a um, police dog cup I believe it is I'm, I'm just doing just doing epoxy cup that's it I'm doing a positive cup and then I got my heat press on so I can do um, the rest of my luggage tags that I have to press um, for this company. And then I'm going to try to sublimate on one of my gift bags I just got in the mail. So, so I can see, you know, want to test out the time and temp. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm going to let that mix up. And then I got my gloves. Put these on, get, get ready to start putting this epoxy on these cups. And we got about a minute and a half left to turn. But anyone who's missed it, these, these are the keychains that I just did. For the uh, travel agency, uh, double sided keychains, and we also have these in our blank store as blanks. Double sided, and then these are double sided as well. The other side is what I'm going to be sublimating on the um, on the live today. Um, I'm gonna finish these cups first because they gotta start getting done. We know what PPE means. <laughs> What most people know what it means. Okay, I'm waiting for this to keep spinning. I think I'm gonna let it spin a little bit longer because I have my small sticks in it, not my large ones. So I want to make it. I want to have it where it's um, a little bit clearer than that. It's on there, and it still got bubbles in it. So it's just the next coat, just to cover this up cover up any lumps and bumps that you feel in your glitter if you still have a little lumps and bumps that I have a little bit of glitter sticking out on these cups still so I'm gonna go ahead and cover them one more time with one coat of epoxy and this this coat should be good it should have to need no more coats after that one until I put the decals on once I put the decals on I'll get all those cut and put them on here and then I'll do another coat of epoxy and I might go live with that too I'm gonna let that make a little bit longer Seem like it's, it's kind of it's getting kind of uh, clear, but it's I don't know. I just don't like the yellow tint, but I guess that's their air epoxy. But all the epoxy have that yellow tint to them, so no big deal. But I want the one that's a little piggy when it comes to my epoxy. Okay, 
it, I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. But theirs is called glass coat, so it's a really good coating on top of your um on your on your tongue. It's really a, a good, pretty clear glass coating. And I love I love it. So all I do is take my little things out, put them on there. Those two will probably eventually be stuck. They'll be stuck to the uh, my mat, but I'll, yeah, I'll get them cleaned up later. So that's all you do is I'm just trying to put a uh, they call this a flood coat, like a, a, a coat that you put on top just so it is a little thicker. But it's going to go where it covers up all the little bumps and lumps that you have in your cups. So, make sure you get it everywhere. Don't forget your butt. Always get the butt of the uh, tumbler. And these are just something fun that I like to do every once in a while. I get orders for these cups. So I do. I started doing these cups and I love doing them. It do take a lot of time to do them, especially when you're doing other stuff in your business. But just keep pushing. I'm glad you love your tumbler. <laughs> I have the other one sitting over here ready for you too when you're ready. Two. See how this one's coming off. I'll stick it up there a little bit harder. This is a big boy. This is a 40 ounce cup, so it's gonna have a little bit of girth on hold on these tumbler wheel tumbler turners. The good sturdy tumbler turners. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. Don't forget your butt. And once I get these started, I'll be happy. I don't have to uh, worry about them after this. They can just spin. And if I have to, I'm gonna take this one off. I feel like this one is moving a lot. Now let me finish this last one. But you see that was a that was a hundred that was a hundred mls and I'm that was perfect for three cups to so do a flood coat on three cups. So it's like you're doing um, about thirty point five on each cup. Like I said, I used a quick coat the first time only uh, because I just wanted it to get covered and sealed in there so I wouldn't have a, have a, a problem trying to get this next coat on. Because sometimes epoxy can be repelled by the chunk of glitters that you have on there. those luggage pads was I did four of them on my heat press at a time so good thing I can do four of them. I only got 15 to do right now but um, I do four at a time I'm putting the pictures on. Alright, 
that's gonna be good with these cups. Put that down. And what I don't recommend is I don't recommend putting um your left like the, the pasta that's left in the cup. Don't put it in your trash can. I sit it on my concrete ground in my um garage away from anything because epoxy heats up so you don't want any fire to be catching in your garage or house or whatever i don't even know how people do this in their house because it the fumes are strong you might not be able to smell it but it they're really strong and they're not good for the uh for for you to be constantly sniffing them in inside your house so i don't even know how people do these in their house there's no way so this heat is just going to pop any bubbles that might be on here and help me with the bubbles and make it perfect. Okay, that one had a little bubble. So you're going to pop your bubbles, but you can see what it is. It's quick, it's quick strokes. It's not, you're not sitting there because if you sit too long, the heat will um, dimple the epoxy. All right, and that should be good. You don't need to go over it a hundred times. Some people sit and babysit their cups to make sure, ooh, this ain't, make sure it's not messing up and stuff. But I don't sit here and babysit my cup. Now with this cup, I might babysit because I feel like it keeps pushing itself off because it is so big. It keeps pushing itself off. So I might move it over to this tumbler here because it might sit better. So I know I got this hand, this glove on, but I'm putting the other glove on. Because I wanna make sure I'm gonna probably, I'm definitely gonna move it because for me that's not working and I can't have it falling off. The worst thing that a cup maker can do is come come back to one of their cups falling off or fell off overnight and you didn't you didn't catch it and everything stuck to it from carpet to whatever else is in the area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just move it. I'm gonna put it on this one. actually sitting better on that one there so I'm gonna, gonna stay on there until, until it's ready and I might pop some stuff on here and get some stuff might have moved especially the bottom since I grabbed the bottom of the cup I don't want that stuff to be moving dimpling all right so now that I'm done with those let those sit. I try to keep my garage closed a lot. Let me get set up over here. I keep it closed, but at the bottom I have a crack because I have my AC going, so I have an air ventilation thing going on. So now I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna do these with you guys as well. So these are luggage tags. I'm gonna do them and then I'm gonna put them together too. you use a, um, a sheet a sheet holder for this or um, one of these I forgot what they call them but one of these sheets but I want I use with the paper either just use this something that's gonna sit on there I don't have to worry about it messing up or getting ugly or anything like that so I'm gonna move you guys over here so you can watch me and like I said earlier I practice with these and I got it down to where I can do four at a time. So sublimation is easy process, easier, vinyl, and I stick them all four in the middle. I kind of I want them to get the same pressure, so that's why I stick them in the middle. Then you put your pieces. You need to put your paper on the top. I'm going to cut this because I don't want to waste any paper. This 
big piece, this piece, this little piece of paper should be big enough. Put that on top. And I believe these are the last things that I did on this heat press, so it should be set to the, yeah, it's already set to the pressure that I want on it. So, um, number one thing you're gonna need, is definitely put heat gloves on. You know what, I'm gonna cover my, let me cover my cups while that's going. Let me cover my cups, cause I feel like I just seen a fly or something come over here. And that's another thing you don't want to happen. You don't want to fly sitting there. Sitting there going, um, hey, let me sit on this thing. <laughs> and mess up your uh, cups as well. You don't want that. Because they don't realize they're going to be stuck for life. Well, you can take it off. can remove it with a uh they got this like a heat knife it can remove uh bugs and you know things that you have on there that might have happened because of a bug feet mark stuff like that take a little heat and it'll come right off and i'm looking for my other um canopies i know i got some more Somewhere where I was like, oh, there, I'm gonna get to the here. Oh, here we go. I'm just, I'm just gonna use this one. This is a brand new one that I have. So these I got um, on Amazon. They're food cover holders, but they work perfect for, I mean, food, food covers for like when you're out barbecuing and stuff. But they're perfect for not letting like little dust particles and stuff get on your cups. So that's what one thing I do love about them. Okay. You just sit them over your things. This stuff will be all good. Oh, these are done now. I'm going to bring you guys back over here. Pull this up. You want to do it slightly with these. I think what's different for this thing is that this thing is like really high. I need to make it a little bit shorter. I think I will. So your gloves, gotta have your gloves. Should have your gloves, at least one. So I try to wear um, one glove. Take the paper off. So I hold it. Normally I just slide them off onto the little mat over here. Put this mat upside right down. It got something on it. So let me turn that upside right down. I slide it onto the little mat over there and let them sit there and cool. But I want to show y'all what this is going to look like. So, so you'll see. Now the paper. The paper is cool, so that's why I'm touching it. And that's what it looks like. So now I got both sides. And remember I said flip upside down so you can just put It's good. And then next thing, um, after this is done, I'm gonna um, put the luggage tag on there, or the, the little strap, the strap for it. So these are perfect, these are so cute. They came out perfect. Let me put the next four on there. They can start going while I'm taking the paper off the other four. So I try to sit them, sit them in the same area that I was, that I just had the other one. Cover with your little sheet of paper. I got you, Celia. <laughs> All right, there's the next one. They are so cute. So they got their little custom, this is for their business, their little custom, I don't know if they're gonna give them away as giveaway items or whatever, but those are their little custom items. That's a little backwards, so you can't. <laughs> but oh, like I said, flip, flip, bam. So, put these on my little plexiglass I got over here. Move these out the way. All 
are. So, I'm gonna wait for those to get done. And then, uh, I'm gonna let me go get one of these gift bags so I can practice on it. I'm gonna that. So for me, I don't know if you guys know this, I like doing 380 for 120 seconds on all my sublimation stuff. All of it, except the stuff that gotta go in the oven. That's different. The mugs, they're different. Glasses, cups, stuff like that, they're different. Those are different times. But for my substrates that are, you go on the heat press, I know to try to do those for the 380 for 120 seconds. I don't know if I gotta do that for this right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it. I might as well stick to what I know. <laughs> So I'm gonna do it 380 for 120 seconds. And then um, we're, we're gonna see what it looks like, see how it comes out, see if it, it's too long, you know? So, but these are the little gift, these are the smaller gift bags. So these are the smaller ones, but we got four sizes. So, um, and we're gonna be putting them as blanks, sell them as blanks in bundles on our blank website. So I'm gonna get the gloves. I don't, 60, 60 seconds don't work for me. That's one thing that, that, that doesn't work for me. All right, Erica, I think y'all ready, man. <laughs> so, these are super cute. So, and they're double-sided for those people that missed. They're just not getting into the live. I if I can get it up there. Bam. And you can do an all-over print. I've done an all-over print. I have posted that before um, on my um, design page and my blanks page. I did it where it was all over. It was a pretty design. It matched the girl's um, tumblers that I made for her. And it was all over design, covered the whole thing. Beautiful, it was a beautiful print. And then the other side was a double-sided. And I sent that to her as a surprise Thank you. <laughs> so she appreciated it. She was going on a, a girl's trip for her birthday. So that's why we made the um, luggage tag for her only. But I love doing this. This is going to be a freebie to Erica and the vacations. So let me um, get the, let me get the, what I want to put on this bag. Because I have extra files for them. their file and I just want to see what it looks like. You have to go to the front door. Not big. I could but this is extra so and it's free. <laughs> so it's not big. But I'm just gonna put it on there in the middle like that. Four out the way. Put the next four underneath the heat press. Well, next two. I think I got two left. I'm gonna move them off. Hey Marianne, these are the last ones that I'm doing. I'm just doing luggage tags right now, Marianne. I just epoxy three cups that I got going. And then this is just the other side of the luggage tag that I just did today. So they have two different logos. So I just put two different logos on each side. 
They told me to do me, do whatever I wanted to do. So I was like, okay, I'm going to stick to that. Oh, so butcher paper has to go inside. I don't know, TJ. I, I would think it don't have to go in the bag. It's pretty, it's pretty thick. No, it's got a different coating on the inside. I'm, should I put it on there so it don't stick, maybe? I'm going to try it. We're going to try it. And this isn't that big, but I'm going to try it. Let's see what it looks like. If I ruin this bag, you know what? I might just do the other side. <laughs> Practice on the other side. Do a, do a small, do a different time. Let me start taking these off. I don't know. I hope this uh, bag kind of got cute. This is my first time ever trying to do it. Oh, you were just wondering. Okay, well. I don't know, but we're going to test it out on here today. Yeah. All right, this one's almost done. And then we're going to try this look, this uh, gift bag. But then, and then it has the perforated holes on it already. You can't even see it. Oh, there you go. See, y'all see it. Right there. It's on both sides. So, and it comes with straps. So it has these nice, nice, pretty from over there look on that that mail cart the cart the cart <laughs> can't find good help anywhere <laughs> just grab me the one that's out thank you all right so these are the, the straps so they look like this so once you're done supplementing it, I guess you can probably do the whole bag. You push through the thing, just like in the gift bag. You push it through, you tie a little knot on the other side, and you got two of them. So two of them come with each gift bag. But we're gonna see. Uh, no, not right now. Put my glove on. Safety first. Cause y'all, look, y'all see this? That's not being safe. You see this? Not being safe. Heat press. Me touching the top of the dang on heat press. I don't want to do that. Make your fingers ugly. We're going to test these bags out. I don't know how they're going to do, but we're going to test it out right now. I'm kind of scared now. So, TJ, you said that little comment. I don't know. But I know I'm going to have to have this thing flatter. I know my pressure going to have to be a lot more. So, let me get another piece of butcher paper. y'all here y'all go y'all <laughs> now i'm scared okay i'm scared i don't even know this too much heat for it or nothing i'm just going i'm winging it pretty much so let me see if it's tight enough <laughs> all right it's closed there it is it's closed we, we there now all right I'm done with the luggage tag now. And the last thing we gotta do for them is some um, rally towels. And that's it. And we're done with this order. Oh, vacation. This is too cute. Y'all, I'm nervous. I, I hope this ain't too much for this plastic. But luckily, it's. Now, I don't know if it's plastic. Get bad or what? Made out of paper, right? So, but it's got the sublimation coating on the outside. I hope it works. I don't want to be disappointed. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, we down to 60 seconds. kind of want to look at it just to see. But me, it's, anytime I take something out early, I always like, just stick to what you know, Keena, because... You take it out early and you be like, dang, I should have left it in there longer. So I end up repressing something. So just because I didn't like the way that it looked at 60 seconds. 60 seconds is not for me. It, for me, it's got to be longer to make the color pop and make it stick. I mean, it's going to stick regardless. But to make the color pop, 
I feel like it has to be longer than 60 seconds. There was a, a paper that was out that actually told people 20, 25 seconds. 25 seconds. I ain't never even heard no 25 seconds for no dang on sublimation. <laughs> and that paper need to be off the market. <laughs> All right, we got six seconds left. Let me put a glove on, because I feel like this one's gonna be real hot. We are gonna see. Something new, something different. And then I wonder if you could do the whole bag. Well, I'm pretty sure you can do the whole bag if you do part that. Ooh, it worked now. Ooh, look at that. So this is Epson paper. I want y'all, I want to show y'all Epson paper. Uh, look at that. Barely any color on that paper. This is Epson paper. That's Epson paper. You barely see anything on there. I mean, it's, it's good on the camera, but here in person, you can barely see this stuff on here. That's some good paper right there. Let me show Y'all ready to see the bag? Okay. Are y'all ready to see the bag? Okay. Okay, like I put it over to the side a little too far. Maybe it moved or something like that, but I don't care because this is free. <laughs> and it was just me practicing on something. And then I gotta see if the bag come apart still. But look, it's on there. It's on 380 for 120 seconds. See, I told y'all stick to what I know. Oh, okay. And the bag still. Let's see if it's still open. Oh, it's still open. Okay. Okay, get back. Okay, get back. Yes. And then you're going to pop them little holes out. That says at the top. Pop them little holes out. Okay. And this is the paper gift bag. That is too cute. So I'm pretty sure if you can just do this area, you can do this whole bag. Do the whole front. You know I'm going to do one with my design on it. Thank you. <laughs> I moved it over a little far, but hey. That's perfect. 380, 100, 120 seconds. Uh, yes, it is super cute. Okay. Okay, Epson paper, heat press, and little gift bag. <laughs> I'm going to turn my heat press off now because I'm done doing anything hot right now. Because it's hot in here now. But now, look at that. It's cute. I'm going to put it together, though. So I'm going to take y'all over here and I'm going to put it together. And see what happens. See? You poke your little holes out. Oh, look, they, and then look, you just poke the hole out like that. With the, uh, oh, I think I didn't found the trick. You ain't even got a tie no knot in this thing. Look at that. So look, you poke the hole through, and when you pull it back, this little thing lifts up. So you, so now you got the little tag, little thing where it's gonna hold the little back. This is cute. Hey, Katrina. Katrina, this is you right here. <laughs> oh, look. I need another one. Is there another one over there that I can get? Yeah, I don't think these are going to go with this bag, but we're going we gonna, we gonna to try to use it. Look at that. Look at your own little sublimation thing. Look at this. Hey, Mika. <laughs> So all I was doing today was I came on here. Y'all can watch it. It's still going to be saved later. But I did some epoxy on some cups. Just walked through the steps of that again, which you guys already seen me do that before. And I had these little, um, oh, I had another one to do. Oh, I need to turn my heat press back on. I had another one to do. I did these luggage tags. Thank you. So, and then I did these gift boxes. Oh, yeah. 90% done, Marianne? Oh, man. And you know, you had a lot of stuff. So if y'all got 90% done, that's really good. So. You know how to turn the heat press back on? Oh, Can't find good help nowhere. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me, ooh, woo, get back. this you can do your own custom you can do your own custom ones at your pop-up shop say you get you got these 
you put your own little logo, put your own logo on your bag. People buy you buy your little items and stuff. Oh, I did keychains for uh, them too, right? But you look, look, you bought that. Oh, here you go, babe. Here's my, here's my bag. Put all your information on that bag. Your Facebook, your Instagram, your TikTok. Which y'all know I love TikTok. Your Facebook groups. And you put all your stuff on here. Your information, your phone number, your website. Everything go on this bag. Y'all put all that stuff on this bag. Y'all y'all propose yourself right here with this gift bag. And guess what? People gonna keep this gift bag. Because they're going to be like, oh, that was that business card I got. This is cute, too. Baby. Th this is cute. Sublimation gift bags. I'm, look, I'm going to do some on the other side just because I like it so much right now. <laughs> but it worked. This worked. And what I'm going to do, in fact, they got extra little things. I'm going to do that the other symbol on the back. This, this is cute. This is cute, cute, cute. And then y'all. And then, if y'all want to get people to buy them for their own little business stuff, and y'all going to put their stuff on there, guess what? Now you got you a seller. Look, $5. $5. You can have this bag customized with your logo on it, baby. <laughs> got you a money maker. This is super cute. Okay, but I do have... Oh, I do have one more luggage tag to do, so I got to turn my heat press back on, so I can do this last luggage tag. And I got all their keychains done, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put their um their luggage tag together. I'm gonna show y'all how we do that. It's easy. That's simple. So when you do the little luggage tag, they come with the strap. They come with a strap. You just stick that strap through. See which way. All right with the um with the the two little pins face down when you put it on i don't know let's see how that works i'm not sure oh no probably want to do it face up let me see i don't know that looks crazy oh yeah okay so I pull it through so you have them face up when they on there face up Stick it through the top hole. Oh, you know what? You can. You know what? I'm probably going the wrong way, but this is this is the concept of how you put these things together. Um, oh, is it? <laughs> okay, good. And we got the little look. That is too cute. They got a little luggage to ask customized for their own little bag. Baby, you gonna know your bag if you in the, if you in the airport with this one your bag. You gonna know who bag this is. This belongs to. But that's how you put those together. So every blank come with a strap. And but I got these. I, they pay for these to be customized. So they all come with straps. And then the keychains, of course, come with the whole little holder and all that type of stuff. And then I'm gonna put little. I'm gonna put all these in the little special bags. I don't know how they want them. If they want them individual, and they're gonna be just giving them out like individual. Gonna get separate things. Or they're going to give them out as a set. So if they give them out as a set, I'm going to put them all in a little gift bag together. And that'll be my presentation. Let me show y'all my bags that I have. Let me show I don't know if it'll fit in this one. Well, let's see. I'm going to try it out. I have bigger ones than this, but I use cellophane bags. And I, use, I have purple ones and black ones, but let's see how it's going to look. Stick it in the bag. I put strap down the back. Put a little keychain in there. There we go. And you got a little presentation. Probably turn. Probably put this on the back side. But you want one side to be showing on each side. That's cute. You got your little presentation bag. So they'll get them just like this. And this is how they want them. I'm going to ask today. Is this how they want them together or they want them separate? And that's all. That's all I was doing today. Oh, I said I'm going to do the other side of this bag. I want to see the other side. I'll post it in a group after I'm done and show y'all what it looks like. But custom gift bags y'all can make. Maybe. They didn't they didn't let the wrong one out. <laughs> 
all right well y'all have a good day i was on here like i said it's gonna be uploaded we're gonna upload it onto the um into the group it should be available in a few moments i guess after i'm done and um if there's anybody that ever want to just come on live because you're doing something you can just just because you're doing something just come on here or just record, let us know hey i want to go live and show them how to do such and such or whatever you do whatever you specialize in and we'll go like, okay cool we set up your live event you go live and we'll be there of course to watch us the admins moderators and stuff uh, we're also looking forward to add some more uh, moderators to the group so we can have more people that can go live that are crafters um, that can live and show us what they do so um, if, you, if you want to um, show what you do or, or become a moderator for our group just reach out and let one of us know you got um, Tanya, Tarnisha, Cherie and Devin and myself we're all the um, admins for the group uh, Celia is a moderator Tamika you shouldn't be scared you crochet baby and you know i was just invited to a crochet event somebody else is doing it saying show you how to crochet i was like yes i want to go because I, I don't know how to do that i really wanted to learn how to crochet like just something i could do in the past time i might get addicted just a little bit you know but to me you can definitely do it i know you're shy but you have an outside bubble <laughs> and you are a people person it'll make you nervous so far the first few times you did it but i had to come out of my box Tanya had to come out of her box. TJ came out of her box. Devin came out of her box. Sheree came out of her box. <laughs> Even though she don't want to do it no more, everyone still came out of their box. <laughs> so we all here to do different things. And, and um, there is something that I wanted to, to ask you. Like, you know, a lot of people seen my video uh, going around with me doing the, um, uh, the, you know, sales and marketing. My little meet my staff people. I would like to see more people do those videos if they can if you have tiktok i would like to do some type of um um challenge you know to see see who is who will be out there to really to repeat that do their own put their own spin on it whatever i would love to see more people doing it so it's something it went crazy a lot i got a lot of activity from it a lot of people responded to it so i know there's a lot of people that probably want to do it but just like oh how did she do it easy record stop record stop record stop that that's pretty much what i did and then i put the words on there and then it, on the words you let you click on the words and and the words are it, it'll say uh text voice so i put the text voice on and then it said set duration of where you want the uh, text to go you put it where you want to go in the video it lets you do a little slider and everything i mean bam 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 it was that easy for me to do that so it doesn't sound easy but it is easier than what <laughs> what it um what it sounds like it is easier but just have fun with it i would like to see people do those videos and have fun with them you know i know a lot of people get nervous with that type of stuff but that video was so much fun and it has went crazy <laughs> busting the internet i like that um but i will talk to you guys later see y'all later don't forget tanya has a live i believe it's this friday i'm not sure if it's friday but i'm pretty sure it's this friday um she's gonna be showing us that new clear htv vinyl and we really want y'all to be there for that to see what it's like you know i want to see that oh i need a tiktok demo okay that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a tiktok demo but i'm not really great at it but you know these young kids are my son he okay at it and his girlfriend she's good at it <laughs> but that i did myself i was like let me just come up with something a concept or whatever you know but i will try to show people how to do different things um but it is nice so T Tanya's um, live is tomorrow, which is Thursday. Tomorrow at what time, Tanya? Um, I think it was like, I think she says, it's either five or six central time, our time here. So like right now it is 3.04 here and um, it'll be, I just thought, like in California, I know there were three hours behind us. So 6 p.m., it'll be 6 p.m. here. Uh, that's that's Central Standard Time, you know. Eastern Time is it'll be seven o'clock for them, and you know, different times for different zones. So Central Daylight Time, is that what it is? <laughs> so yeah, she's doing a lot tomorrow on that that new clear HTV vinyl that's going crazy. I want to see what all the hype is about too. So y'all be here so we can um enjoy the lot together, ask her questions and all that type of stuff. You know, it's her it's her experimenting just like I just experimented with this gift bag. Y'all, this gift bag is too cute. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a good night. TKT out. <laughs>
<laughs> That's so cheesy. Oh, I'm so cheesy. Bye, y'all. Have a good night.